Hey guys, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights. How are you guys doing? Hopefully well. So today's video, I will be doing a quick unboxing. Actually, it's not a box, it's an envelope. I received this from a very generous, kind viewer. Let's see here. <laughs> I, already, I already know it's in here, I couldn't resist, but I wanna still show you guys. So this is the new release from Hermes. L'Ombre de Merveille or L'Ombre de L'Ombre de Merveille. I can't even say it. I think if I remember correctly, L'Ombre means shadow. So shadow of wonders. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but this is a little mini of it here. It's so adorable. Ah! <laughs> So I haven't tried it at all, you guys. I've been putting it off for a few days now. Um, so I'll, in this video, I'll be doing like a first impressions for you guys. Um, but let me show you what else she sent. Another mini of it. Thank you so much. A sample of Eau de Merveille. Eau de Toilette, which is fantastic. Also... Twilly Dermes Eau Poivre, Eau Poivre, which I have reviewed. Eau de Parfum. This is the flanker of the regular Twilly. And also, there's a bunch of samples in here still. Uh, this is the regular Twilly Dermes. A very interesting ginger scent, a sparkling ginger. Another Twilly. Another L'Ombre de Merveille. And this is like the little tie thing that goes around the Twilly bottle. This little thing. I don't own Twilly though, so I don't know where I'm gonna tie this around. Maybe I'll tie it around one of my other Hermes bottles, I'm not sure. And then another L'Ombre de Merveille. I'm excited. <laughs> Obviously, I'm excited because this is the one that I wanted to try. Let's give this a try. L'Ombre de Merveille. What does it say here? I'm just going to read the little sentence it says here. The deep radiance of a woody oriental fragrance, sensual and enveloping. <laughs> Let's get this on my skin. I'm so excited. I'm going to spray it on a test strip here. First impressions of L'Ombre de Merveille by Hermes. Newest um, addition to their um, Merveille line, which I really like. Wow, okay. Let's see here. <laughs> to me, it's reminding me of like a sparkling black tea. It has um, maybe some musk or ambergris in here. And honestly, it's leaning a little bit over to the masculine side. Like typically masculine. I like to wear perfumes also um, marketed for men as well. And this definitely has like this almost spicy black tea sparkling ambergris musk and woods it's really nice and you know what when i'm smelling this i am getting something in my mind similar to this this imagery of like a night sky and like the sparkling stars um, shining in the night sky oh you guys this is good yeah, it's definitely, it still had, it's like if there's a spectrum between typically feminine and masculine, and then you have right the middle here, it's like leaning a little bit to, a little bit more <laughs> to the masculine side. Not really sure what's doing that, but I definitely smell a similarity between this and the L'Ombre de Merveille, which it has this, um, it's hard to explain, but it's like a musky, salty, slightly aquatic, maybe ambergris kind of salty thing that I get in here. A little fresh too. And then I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of sipping a cup of black tea in the night 
and the stars are clear, the sky is clear, and then you see the stars sparkling in the sky, and it's very romantic. And you're with this cute guy in your high school. <laughs> you're a high school girl, and you're with this cute guy, and he gives you a kiss. <laughs> That's what it's kind of making me think of. It is um, very, it's not thick at all. It has like this light kind of feeling. I don't know, I just find with Hermes perfumes, um, they have this certain quality where they just feel light and airy and breezy, which I like. And I, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, I can, I should probably explain that better <laughs> some other time, but I do find, yes, I do find with this line in particular, that there's this like uplifting kind of breezy character to them. Um, sparkling and fresh at the top, but also at the bottom, maybe something like smoky, dark, salty, aquatic, beautiful. This, this is, this is good. Honestly, if just based on this set, um, on my first impressions of this, if I were to if I were to blind by this and I was thinking about it before she contacted me and said that she can send over some samples, um, I would not be disappointed with, with this blind buy. It's kind of reminding me now a lot of the L'Ombre de Merveille. The other, I'm just going to grab it. I might as well. Just give me a sec. Okay, so here's L'Ombre de Merveille, which I think is totally, uh, completely underrated. It's a super sexy scent. But I don't think it gets a lot of attention, but it is absolutely phenomenal. I'm sensing a connection here. <sighs> I love it. I love it, you guys. Okay, so the notes in here. There's only three notes listed. In the top, there's tea. In the middle notes, there's um, incense. And in the base, there's tonka bean. So maybe I kind of remembered, maybe, uh, about the black tea notes, but I kind of am reminded of this black tea, drinking a black tea. Um, incense, I do get a little bit of smokiness in here. I actually get a, a salty smokiness in here as well. I'm not sure if there's incense in the notes, but I have reviewed this one and I remember saying also that there's something like lurking in the base of this perfume that has, is like a dark smokiness um, in the bottom of this perfume and in the top, there's like these sparkling, fresh, aquatic, salty sea notes in this one. <sighs> I'm getting that same smokiness in the L'Ombre de Merveille. Ah, I like it, you guys. I'm gonna test this more. I'm so happy that I was able to try this out. Uh, maybe I'll do like a full review later on down the line after I've tested it more. Thank you again so, so, so much to the viewer who sent over these samples. I'm just, I'm very, very flattered. I don't even know what to say, but thank you so much. And um, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions and I will be back with more videos soon. Take care, bye-bye.